Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on polynomials. In this video, we'll be looking at graph of polynomials. So we start with the first problem. Problem one, sketch the graph of each of the following polynomials. A, y equal to 2x plus 4. B, y equal 5 minus x. The two polynomials represented in problem one are polynomials of degree one. Since the highest power here is 1, and also the highest power here is 1, so we start with A. Um, we are going to be applying the intercept concept. Now for A, we find the x-intercept. So for x-intercept, y is equal to 0. So we put y equal to 0 in this equation. So we have... 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Taking this to the other side, we have 2x is equal to negative 4. Dividing both sides by 2, x is equal to negative 2. Then for y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So we'll be able to get the value of y there. So we have y is equal to 2 into 0 plus 4, where y is equal to 4. We then go ahead to get our points. So our first point here is negative 2 comma 0. Since when x is negative 2, y is 0. So we have negative 2 comma 0. And the second point is 0 comma 4. So we go ahead to sketch the graph. So we have the x axis and the y axis. So this is the origin, the intersection of x and y axis. So we have a negative 2. We can also have positive 2 here, just for formality. Otherwise, this would have been enough. Then for y, we have positive 4. So we have 4 here. What are the points we are looking at? When x is negative 2, y is 0. So this is the point. We are looking at this point and 0, 4. This is 0, this is the 4. So we mark this. You can then place your ruler and draw. So you join the two points. And uh, you have the graph of y equal to 2x plus 4. Then we go to 1b. For 1b, we have y equal to 5 minus x. So for x-intercept, we still remember y is equal to 0. Putting y equal to 0, we have 5 minus x is equal to 0. Then we take this to this side, which is invariably telling us x is equal to 5. Then we go for y-intercept, where x is equal to 0. So we substitute x is equal to 0 here. y will be equal to 5 minus 0. And y is equal to 5. So our two points, 5 comma 0 and 0 comma 5. We then go ahead to sketch the graph. We have our y axis and the x axis. So we have the origin. We have um, 5. So we can still have it as minus 5 and positive 5. Then at y axis, we have a 5 here. So, what are the points we are looking for again? When x is 5, y is 0. This is the point. When x is 0, y is 5. This is the point. Then we place our ruler again and join the two points. So, we have it. So, we are done sketching the graph of y equal to 5 minus x. That is the end of solution to problem one. We then go to problem two. For problem two, we have to sketch the graph of each of the following polynomials. Y equal to x plus one into four minus x. And for B, y equal to two x squared minus nine x minus five. So we start with A. And for your information, the problems represented in two are quadratic 
equation, that's the graph of quadratic equation, that is polynomials of degree 2. Since x times x here will give us x squared. And here we still apply the intercept form to get the graph sketched. So we have x intercept, we still remember y is equal to 0, we equate this to 0 so that we now have x plus 1 into 4 minus x is equal to 0, where x plus 1 is equal to 0, and 4 minus x is equal to 0. For each, we have x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 4. After solving these linear equations, so the next thing is y intercept where x is equal to 0. So we have y will be equal to 0 plus 1 into 4 minus 0 is going to give us 1 times 4 and y is equal to 4. So we get our points. When x is negative 1, y is 0. So we have negative 1 comma 0. And when x is 4, y is 0. We also have 4 comma 0. And finally, when x is 0, y is 4. So we have 0 comma 4. Then we go ahead to sketch the curve. So we have x axis and y axis. So we have the origin here. Um, for x axis, we have negative 1. So I have this point as negative 1 and 4. So I can have 4 here. Then for y axis, I have 4, positive 4. Then the first point is minus 1, comma 0. This is minus 1, comma 0. This is the point. It is marked out. 4, comma 0. This is 4, comma 0. It is marked out. 0, comma 4. This is 0, comma 4. Marked out. Then we join. So we join in the points. We have the graph of y equal to x plus 1 into 4 minus x sketched here. Then we go to be part of the problem. For b, we have y equal to 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. So for x intercept, y is equal to 0. Now we factorize and equate it to 0 directly. So the two factors are 2x plus 1 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. So how did we come about this? 2 times negative 5 gives negative 10. Two factors of negative 10, whose sum will give us negative 9. We have them as positive 1 and 10. So the positive 1 comes here. And the negative 10 is divided by 2, which gives negative 5. So we have it as x minus 5 equals 0, where 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, and x minus 5 is equal to 0. So for this, we have x is equal to negative half, and x is equal to 5. For y intercept, x is equal to 0. So we have y equal to 0 plus 1, and 0 minus 5. Positive 1 times negative 5 gives y equal to negative 5. So the points are negative half comma 0, 5 comma 0, and 0 comma negative 5. So sketching this graph, we have x axis and y axis. This is the origin. Um, we can have it as 1, then 5 and the negative 5 here. Um, since we are interested in negative 5, so it is halfway between 0 and 1. We can have that as the halfway. Then we now look at the point we are looking for, negative half comma 0. Negative half comma 0. This is negative half comma 0 is this point. It is marked out. 5 comma 0. This is the point which is marked out. And finally, 0, negative 5, this is the point. We now joined the three points, giving us the curve, which represents the graph of the problem represented in 2B. So we go to problem 3. For problem 3, 
we have to sketch the graph of each of the following polynomials. Um, if you look at this, it's going to be polynomial of degrees 3. Because this x times x times x will give us x3. And here we are going to have x squared here. If this x minus 2 is expanded, multiply by this, we have a polynomial of degree 3. So to do that, we start with A. And for A, we still maintain the intercept form. For x intercept, y is equal to 0. So we equate x minus 1 into x minus 6 into x plus 3 to be 0. Where x minus 1 is equal to 0, x minus 6 is equal to 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. So solving each of these, we have x is equal to 1, 6, and negative 3. So for y intercept, x is equal to 0. So we have 0 minus 1 into 0 minus 6 into 0 plus 3. So negative 1 times negative 6 gives positive 6 times 3 gives 18. So we have y equal to 18. So the points now are 1 comma 0, 6 comma 0, negative 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 18. We go ahead to sketch the graph. So we have x axis, y axis, the origin. For x axis, we have negative 3 and a 1. And here we have a x6, so x is 6 here. And for y axis, we have a 18. So what are the points we are looking for? So the first point is 1 comma 0, so I have 1 comma 0 here. 6 comma 0, c 6 comma 0, and negative 3 comma 0 then 0 comma 18 which is this point we are going to join them um is it possible we join like this yes is it going to be the same thing or we start like this so we go and there uh, we have the curve so that's the end of solution to problem 3a we then go to 3b for 3b, we have y equal to 2 minus x all squared into x plus 5. So using the x-intercept where y is equal to 0, we are going to have x minus 2 all squared into x plus 5 is equal to 0, then which means x minus 2 is equal to 0 twice, and x plus 5 is equal to 0 which means x is equal to 2 twice and x is equal to negative 5. Then we go ahead to get y intercept where x is equal to 0. For x equal to 0, we are going to have 0 minus 2 all squared, 0 plus 5. So this is going to give us 4 times 5, which gives y equals 20. So we get our points. So we have 2 comma 0 twice, then negative 5 comma 0, and finally 0 comma 20. Here we have x and the y axis. This is the origin 0. So from here we need 2 on the x axis, negative 5 on the x axis, and 20 on the y axis axis. So the points now are 2 comma 0. So this is the point. Negative 5 comma 0. This is it. And 0 comma 20 is this point. So remember, this is twice. So the curve is going to have its minimum points at x equal to 2. So joining this curve now, we are going to go like this. So we go, we join. So that is it. We have successfully sketched the graph represented in problem three. We then go to problem four. For problem four, sketch the graph of the polynomial x cubed 
plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18. Here we are going to factorize completely. After factorizing, we'll be able to get the zeros of the polynomial. I will now go ahead to get the y-intercept and sketch the curve. So we start. Um, we equate it to zero. That is giving us the x-intercept. Y is equal to zero. So x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18 is equal to zero. So we go by inspection again. If you put one, two, three, if they give you zero, anyone that gives zero, you start with that. So P of negative two will give us zero. That will give us a negative eight plus eight plus 18, then minus 18. You can see negative eight plus eight is already zero. 18 minus 18 gives a zero. So which means x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial. We then use this x plus 2 to divide the polynomial to get the second factor and other factors. So we go with long algebraic division. x plus 2 will be here. x cubed divided by x. We have a x squared. The x squared times x gives x cubed. x squared times 2 gives 2x two squared. We subtract. In our subtraction, x cubed minus x cubed is 0, 2x squared minus 2x squared is also 0. We now bring down the two terms remaining, which is negative 9 minus 18. So negative 9x divided by x gives negative 9. So negative 9 times x gives negative 9x. Negative 9 times positive 2 gives negative 18. Then we subtract, and that will invariably give us a zero. So we can see now that um, the polynomial will be expressed as x plus 2 into x plus 3, x minus 3. Since x squared minus 9 is difference of two squares, because 9 is a perfect square, so we can now have our points as negative 2 comma 0, negative 3 comma 0 and uh, 3 comma 0 these are the x intercepts then for y intercept so when x is 0 so y is going to give us negative 18 so we've gotten all the points we sketch the curve now this is x axis and y axis this is the origin so what are the points we need we have a 3, negative 2, and negative 3. We also have negative 18 on the x-axis. So we have negative 18 there. How do we join? Yes, we can go like this, or we can go like this. So joining the three points, we have it drawn and we are done sketching the graph of the polynomial represented in problem four and that is the end of problem four and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching don't forget to check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all videos on polynomials like and share this video also Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.